You did great, Monago. <laughs> well, thank you. That's right. Hello? Hey, fucko! No Vitalis for you! Get dead! Boof! Bye, fucko. Couple more shitheads. Don't paralyze me. Oops, wrong target. That's okay. Baboomba. Damage up this sucker. Done it again, Robon. Hell yeah, hell yeah, took the bridge. There are always battles left to fight. We return? Rising fortunes, rising spirits. Where is Monago? Oh, We've met the U tribe. Uh, is that the only specific group of Makoto we've met? I don't remember any others.
Guess we're gonna go meet her family. <laughs> or at least her home. Ooh. So unfortunately, it doesn't just open for us. We do have to talk each time, I think. Ah, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. My home. How did they find anything? How fare your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta, at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire, and were content to remain within their borders. Bootlickers. Just so. The Kaliana forsook their pride in the fight <laughs> and yielded to Garlemald long ago. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. Poor Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. Fucked up. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana Broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge weeping for her child. Until you came.
The brood mother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Bad idea. Vordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The Butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. I know where this is going. She killed her, didn't she? Yeah. The Kalyanas surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. The true madness was yet to come. Uh -oh. For in her despair, the Kalyana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. She summoned a primal then and there? That she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kalyana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us. I have to kill a goddess. I, all who have fought with the resistance have heard tell of <laughs> warrior, the icon slayer. Guilty is charged. And that's me. I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. Yeah, I'm sure we'll just be able to talk it out. Hello, Vera. Vera, you friendly? Friendly snakes, friendly snakes. So, tell me about your goddess. Sri Lakshmi. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi. We were created in her image. Uh, but you're snakes. She's not. Or is she?
Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Lady of Bliss. <laughs> Yay! All right, the Vera are the nice snakes. The Kaliana are the not nice snakes. Transcendental beauty. Uh, oops, just a little primal. What could possibly go wrong? Such a line. <laughs> Look, we've had a rough go of it with everything Xenos pushed through and all the stuff in Doma. We got a little aggression we gotta work out right now. <laughs> She's like, yeah, okay, it's fair. <laughs> I'll kill your god if I have to. Maybe even if I don't. <laughs> Just because I feel like it. She who shines bright and unbroken. Lady of Bliss. Do you look ready? We go. Y'all are fast. We've done this before, don't worry. The Etherites. I touch your crystal. There she is. It's been a while since we've seen a primal. Why, mistress? Why does my Anamika slumber still? Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. She's snake too. Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. She... she is silent. 
and empty. You goofed it. Only the vessel may be remade. Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. She can't bring people back from the dead. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Hell is it, damn. Alize, have you gone mad? Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood. No, we come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This hath ever been my promise, naught else. Shut up, Snake Mommy. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. I don't think they're gonna like this truth. Well. For every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? Looks like we're out of the bag now. They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. Uh oh. <laughs> Those are good orbs, right? A good orbs of fire. <laughs> hey, don't do that, maybe. Just tempering. Abide in misery, then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. I'm gonna bless your face with my sword. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. No, you won't. Well, could have gone better. Could have gone worse too, probably. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she had to try. It's okay, Alize.
See you soon. So this is something we have to use. That's not what I meant to do, shit! Open your heart to me. Oh god. I am not ready. I hate <laughs> I don't know what this does. I forget. Please don't kill me. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, right, these, they move. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you, you fucker! Oh my god. Someone fell off already? Oh god, that was the wrong spot to do- No, 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 not this- You- I don't know, fucking whatever. Fuck. Ow! Your weary soul oh no, that island. was the worst time to use shit. I think I could have picked up another orb there, but oh no, snake want me, please. <laughs> I shall free you from your hate. Okay, so I definitely need another orb uh, before that she does that move again. Like this. There we go. Oh god, oh god. Here's the orb. Stand in orb if you want. Ah! No! <laughs> Thank you. Surrender to bliss. Do not your souls weigh heavy? I don't talk about that. Oh my beans! Oh my beans! Oh! Someone disconnect- what the fuck?
Your souls are so Oh fuck! Ah, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, 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 don't fucking... I shall free you from your hate! It's fine. Oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, big stack, big stack. Jesus Christ. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Much better, much better. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I know he's getting the calm as the other healer. Oh god, I can't help you. I can help you. Oh god. Oh no, we're both fucking dead! Surrender to bliss. More people needed to stack! Your souls are stained. Fuck. Someone's the other one's alive somehow. Thank you, thank you. Jesus! Jesus! Do not your souls weigh heavy? <laughs> what a fucking! What a fucking! <laughs> oh, what are the summoners did her as? Excellent. That beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Can't believe no one died. You did it again. You saved them. I just wish I could have been more help. <laughs> it's the silence. So. Hmm. It looks like the Ananta did have a mountain of crystals after all. Yeah. Every other tribe. Gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. Yeah. You! Oh. You slew our mistress! She was our hope! Our salvation! Is there no end to your cruelty? She wasn't, though. That's the thing. Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel. Don't you see? 
If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. Who are you to question our choice? You, who fight without fear? We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! I know there's nothing I can say to convince you. But I hope that one day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words and leave me to mourn. I'll go. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Girabania is our home too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on. Alfano and Alize are waiting. Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Alamigo. Who could be there? Ah, the savage returns. And with her tail firmly between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have curried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. <laughs> I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly, but no longer. If only she had been content with her lot. She might have lived to see the morrow. You can kill him. I won't mind. Fedola Rem Lupis, Commander of the Crania Lupi, reporting as ordered. Your thickness, I mean, Your Highness. Why do you tremble, sir? Could it be that the Empire's butcher is afraid? That she who walks with death is terrified of her own? I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield, had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno <laughs> which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. Oh. Yes, my lord. You were defeated by the Resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an Icon. Have you anything to say? I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. 
Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I want... I want to make them pay! All of them! Everyone who ever mocked or looked down on me! I want the power to make them pay! <sighs> Very well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Then I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Assuming, that is, you are prepared to wager your life for such power. Transcend, my lord. I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do. Uh oh! He's bringing out the science nerds. <laughs> just, just stand behind my chair until I give the signal. <laughs> 